Hi everyone, Kada here with Kids Up Front. Um, today is our last uh, Tasty Tuesday segment for October, and we are joined with um, Melissa Tonys here. Melissa, how's it going? Really good, thank you. Welcome mm -hmm. to my kitchen. Awesome, what are we making today? Well, in honor of Halloween and sort of Thanksgiving, depending on what people are into, um, we thought it would be really fun to do something kind of festive for the season. So we are making some super cute little pumpkin shaped Rice Krispies. Oh, that sounds fun. So we actually have some stuff underway here already. We've got a little team of assistants, a little few of Santa's elves, if you will, are in my kitchen <laughs> today. So would you like me just to proceed? So I'm Please, gonna... yes, walk us through. Go ahead. So what the girls are doing here, I'm going to... <laughs> show you is this is kind of a funny one this I think is honor of like Batman the Joker so we're going to actually teach the kids in reverse what to do so we will in fact talk about the decorating process now and let you just sort of see what the kids are making and so Andrew what did you make this is kind of a fun jack-o-lantern themed rice krispie treat and we've got uh, <laughs> Oh, this one is fun. This is kind of a fun monster. So we, we went all out at the kids. I know, get out your ingredients. If you're making it along with us, you'll need a pot and you'll need all of your list of ingredients and I'll go through those with you. But so we wanted to go ahead this time and show you because last week was we were burning French toast and <laughs> we needed to be we needed to have some stuff to show you like on the real TV shows. So this is just a fun little monster. We we ha had delivered to you the ingredients for the Rice Krispie treats. Also, I think um, some little leaf candy, some pretzels, um, some green icing, and we're gonna make the Rice Krispie treats kind of orangish. This wasn't dark enough in my opinion, so I'm gonna I'm gonna double down and see what happens next. So um, we're gonna walk the kids how to make the Rice Krispie treats, and it is something you wanna make sure you're really safe about. So um, gather your ingredients now if you haven't already done that. Get a clean space, clean off the stove top, and we'll get going right away. So we just cheated though, right? We just used the green icing, and I had one kind of going here. My my kids are a little bit more um, artsy than me. I'm I'm more the make chili kind of mom. So we're just gonna actually line that so that you can kind of have what resembles a green stem on the top of that. Easy as that, you guys. So we, while the Rice Krispie Treat was kind of a bit softer, we stuck it in the top to set, and it, as it hardened, that's now when we're gonna add the icing. And we, you can stick eyes on with the icing. We got some eyes from the dollar store, some googly eyes, and the kids here, Gonna see if I can. You can do that one for me too, if you want. I'm gonna try and zoom in here because we're using my laptop. So they're just having some fun with icing, pretzels. We used a little bit of uh, cut up licorice, whatever's kind of in your pantry. And I don't know about Halloween this year. I'm not sure how that's gonna work. So I'm gonna get my friendly cameraman um, to follow behind me, and we're gonna go to the stove. So we've got. The stove preheating and we've got the butter in the pan already so we've got one quarter cup of butter or margarine throw that in your pan put it on medium at the most you don't want it to get too hot and burn the butter remember last week when I burnt the butter that's a no-no so we're gonna get that going and then 250 grams of marshmallows and usually there are packages that size but if you need to count them out it's 20 large ones, I think, but I'm not positive. So 250 grams, I'm gonna throw that in. And so my little trick for you is before the butter gets really hot, that's when we're gonna put the food coloring in so that it gets going. And so to make orange, if you have food color, I don't know, I don't know how it turned out for you guys, but we couldn't find orange. So we did, um, Two drops of red 
and it said like 30 drops of yellow. So I'm going to, I'm going to just count those out. And so this is heating up and the marshmallows are really, they're kind of, they're kind of fussy as well. So you don't want to burn those. And you need six cups of Rice Krispie Square, or Rice Krispies, or Rice Krispie cereal, depending on what you've got in there. If you don't know what I'm talking about, they kind of look like this. This is the classic box, but you can use any brand of crispy rice cereal that you have out there. I'm gonna count this though. Let's count to 30. So I hope you guys are getting stuff organized there. And everybody loves Rice Krispie Squares, don't you think? And I think with Halloween, what's going on, people aren't going to be able to go trick-or-treating in the traditional way. Um, I hope some of you got these. This was a kind of a fun surprise that I think Kids Up Front um, has for some kids. I hope you guys got in on some of these. I hope some of you enjoyed making pancakes or eggs with your pancake and egg rings with the Toy Story theme. This is Forky. We're gonna get that going. And so once that's in, we throw the six cups of Rice Krispies in once the marshmallows are all melted. And that's going to take a few minutes. So let's talk about what some of my costumes were growing up. So I was a ghost a lot when I was a kid. It's really easy to just have a sheet and cut out some eyes. That was kind of funny. I can't believe it's almost Halloween. So we're going to get that going and we're going to mix it up. And um, is anyone on? Is anybody asking questions? Let's check in. Hi, Melissa. Yes, we do have a question. Um, if you have different kinds of food coloring and you want the different colors to show, do you suggest making different batches of the marshmallow? Oh, what a great question. Um, yeah, I think to do like rainbow colors or experiment, I would. What, what we could do is we could do it without the food coloring in the Rice Krispie mixture, like the opposite of what we've done here. And we could take little bits of it into bowls when it's still kind of soft and pliable. We could put the different colors in and mix it in the bowl. It would just maybe be a bit less consistent or, or smooth. It might kind of be sort of a mess, but that kind of could be fun too, I think. Kids, I think the, the cool thing about cooking is that we do get to experiment. We, we do get to get our hands in uh, the mix and learn how to do it for ourselves. That for me was always really the funnest part of cooking is that creative part where I could learn something new. And I'll tell you a, a cool statistic during COVID, we sold out of loaf pans. You still can't get a loaf pan till December. Wow. And I'll, I'll tell you why the kids in the kitchen, the Tasty Tuesdays with me is such a great plan, you guys, because everyone during COVID found out they needed to learn how to cook if they didn't know. And so something like last week's French toast with bread, eggs and milk, easy, something like that. You can make pancakes from that same sort of ingredient base, mm. frying an egg, making your own granola bars. Who thought you could do that? And they're quite expensive at the grocery store. Also, when uh, we did the pizza bread and dip, very, very inexpensive and easy and healthy way to do that for yourself. What happens when people can make their own bread is they feel empowered. They feel mm. like they brought back some control over something that they can't control with this virus. And that's something I feel really excited about helping the kids, you, me, everyone, learn something new to provide a neat recipe for their family. And it makes you feel powerful. It like makes you feel like you got an A plus on your test at school and you feel kind of grown up, but you also feel kind of independent and you feel like you could teach somebody else when you do it enough times. We keep doing that. Everyone's going to know how to make healthy meals and snacks for themselves. And that's what it's all about during a time where We've got to stick together. We've got to eat and we're locked up and COVID is happening, right? I love that. I love what you said. Um, cooking and baking is such a skill, such an important life skill, but it could be fun. It can bring people together and it can be so empowering, like you said. That's great. That's so, awesome. Um, in school, I don't know about you. Did you take cooking in school? Like, did they do home ec or some kind of cooking class? I did when I was younger, yes. <laughs> So I'm gonna I'm gonna sort of hone in as much as I can here with my camera skills. So we've got some orange marshmallow mixture happening here. Oh, that's very vibrant. That's cool, hey. So we got kids. Don't lift the pan off the stove like I just did, but have some fun. Stir that up, and it wants it's smooth. I'll show you what that looks like. Okay. 
I just, pardon me, I need to take a little drink. The one thing I'm really proud of at my house is all three of my kids, even though they're grown-ups now, they love to cook. Even my daughter's best friend, who's like a second daughter to me, is here helping make the fun Rice Krispie Street. She came over. Like, she was like, I want to be a part of that. And we've been doing that at home since they were in grade two together. So cooking together builds relationship. Coming around mm. the table is something that we need to do anyway. So why not build community with your cohorts, keeping it safe, but also having some fun during a time where you might not even be able to go trick-or-treating. You can make, um, in the same recipe, you can make mummies or you can make Frankensteins. So what we can do is add green to this mixture. So we're getting close now, guys. And you would make flat in a cookie sheet. So you would take your Rice Krispie mix once you're ready to spread it, put it in a flat cookie sheet, kind of like we talked about in week one about granola bars. You can make the bars mm -hmm. right in a cookie sheet. And so then once they're set, you can cut them into little fun rectangles and put the fun googly eyes or the white icing or whatever you want to make Frankenstein or make a mummy. Um, just, we're gonna have to do some fun creative things right now. So here we go, guys. Here's your consistency. It's very smooth. Andrew, will you tip that camera down for me just a little bit? A little bit more? Okay, there you go. So it's kind of, it's really very much like a smooth, runny yogurt. That's the consistency. Okay. Shut that heat off. We don't want it to burn. Then you add your little bit of vanilla. I think it's like a teaspoon, but I'm not measuring. <laughs> And it'll start to really bubble from that. You don't have the vanilla, it doesn't matter. It's still gonna taste excellent. Then comes your six cups of Rice Krispies. In they go. And so the key to this recipe, because you wanna put your hands on the Rice Krispie treats, get that off the burner right away. Get it mixed in so that you get that nice orange color on your Rice Krispies. And this one is better, so we were successful the second time around, guys. So double down, I did 60 drops and two drops. So two drops of red and 60 drops of yellow. And it looks like the perfect orange for a jack-o'-lantern. Okay, so once this cools down, and you do have to give it a couple of minutes, you can start putting your hands in here, not right away, and for sure take it off the heat. Even if you um, stuck it in the fridge for like one minute, it would cool down really nicely. If you have gloves, this would be a great time to use gloves, but you just wanna make sure, and you can be really careful just by pulling this, testing it and going, yeah, no, that's still a bit too hot. I hope that, um, you guys are really extra careful. Make sure you wash your hands before you start rolling around um, Rice Krispie Treat in your hand. And another cool trick is you can run your hands under cold water um, and it really helps too. So before you put it in the warm mixture, if you're nervous about it being hot, just cool your hands off and it will Stick to your fingers really fast if, if it's cool enough. That's still a bit too hot. So we'll give it another couple minutes, but it's cooling down in my fingers so we know we're getting close. Another way to keep it from um, staying hot is to switch it out of the pot in, onto uh, a cookie sheet like we used that first week. So you guys oh, see yeah. now really orange? Yeah. Okay. And hey, Melissa. Yes. Um, is it okay if it looks really stringy from the marshmallows? Or is that, is that yeah. supposed to? Yeah, keep mixing it. So I want to show you this okay. consistency. So this is the consistency. Okay. Right? And it's kind of, it's sticking together. And it, as it's cooling, it's going to get a little harder. But you, you don't wait like 20 minutes because if it gets too hard, you won't be able to roll it into a ball to shape it into the ball. But if you're just oh, doing it in a pan, you could throw this in the pan right now and spread it out and flatten it, and you're good to go. So I just wanted to give you a quick visual 
we're at we're we're close to we're close to our time, so we're still okay. Mm -hmm. Our our girls behind you are um, they're fooling around <laughs> trying to get me to laugh. Kids will be kids whether they're twenty or they're eight. <laughs> so we're gonna see that is a bit of hot, kids. So make sure you're waiting longer than this. So you're probably gonna make, wait about five minutes to let it cool off, but. I can take it because I got some gloves on. And so you're just going to roll it and squeeze it. And just squeeze it like a, exactly like you see me doing here. And it will make a perfect ball because your hand kind of does that naturally. And while it is kind of soft like this, see, I could still squish it. So you know it is still quite warm. Um, you can do that. You can make it, you know, a pancake. You could do anything. Kind of cool. Like um, but we'll make it into a ball, and then we'll stick that pretzel in it and push it in a little and squeeze it. Just let it sit so that it gets hard, and then that's when you're going to do like the kids did and ice it and have some fun with it, give it a crazy face, anything like that. Do you have a finished product? Let's show the kids some finished product and then we're we're good to go, I think. Rice crispy squares are something that we all grew up on, I think, here in Canada anyway. Um it, rice krispies are a Canadian thing, I think, actually. Oh, so, I didn't know that. so I love it. one jack-o'-lantern. Here we go. And we've got one crazy little monster <laughs> here. Kind of cute. Then, oh, we've got an alien coming. Oh, wow. I love how different they all are. That's awesome. Yeah. And see, these are grown. So I think this would be a great um, idea for kids of all ages. Oh, what do we got? Just like a dog. Oh, my God. Okay. Oh, my God. okay. <laughs> you guys got to do a trolley now. You're going to do a blue one. So you got a buddy. So these are fun. But of course, the traditional pumpkin, you guys, um, we have that picture for you. You can stick the leaf on or eat it. That's fun, too. And Rice Krispie Treats can be made into any kind of shape. Actually, the real kind of cool tip to know about uh, the Cake Boss shows, these shows that we watch where they make a, a cake that looks like a car or has a working fountain, crazy things. They often are using the Rice Krispie Treat mix as the base because it can get quite hard, but it's very tasty. So a great, healthy, easy, quick, inexpensive treat. Happy Halloween. Thank you so much for letting me be a part of such an amazing um, opportunity to hang out with the kids. I hope you guys enjoyed some of this and, and that it taught you a few things and that you feel inspired to cook for yourself. Yeah, thank you so much, Melissa, again, for all of your Tasty Tuesdays. Uh, for those of you who may be signed on late um, or missed the previous weeks, you can watch them on our YouTube channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe and look out for our upcoming shows. Don't forget, these will be recorded. You can go back and watch all of them and learn the recipes. Reach out to me if you have any questions and I'll post some fun pictures of the mummies and the Frankensteins. Mm -hmm. So there are some other ideas for future reference too. Awesome, thank you so much, Melissa. Thank, thank you everyone you. for watching. Bye, Bye everyone. everyone. <laughs>